So, hello YouTube, this is Ahoy. So, I just released a tambourine sample library or virtual instrument if you want to think it that way. And it's free. You are not allowed to share it for profit. And, you know, the basic stuff. And let me show you how to use it a few ways and how to install it. Okay, so first when you have downloaded the file, just open the zip file. Then read the readme file. It has all the thing you need to know. And then open your DOF choice. In my case, I will use Pro Tools. So we are now at the Pro Tools. So let's import the files. So as we can see, the folder contains a lot of files. We have the tempo right, tempo left, and tempo hit, tempo flam, tempo pattern, and then we have this tempo gain, which is the original raw file. But let's import the hit and the right and the left files. And let's put them to the clip list. And then what we will do is that we will create four mono audio tracks. And if we want to do the chaka 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 pattern, we will use hit, right, left, right, and then we repeat hit, right, left, right, hit, right, left, right, and so on. So let's try to make a few bars. Uh, we will use 16 note grid and I will use the samples at random. Okay, so now we have one bar here. Let's listen how it sounds. Not bad, eh? Okay, but you can also use the trigger instrument, and I will show you how to use it. First, you will let's get rid of this, and then we make a new mono instrument track. If you are using Cubase, you have to make a new audio track and a new MIDI track. But anyway, this is how it goes. You insert trigger. And after, and after that, go and locate the TCI file. Okay, now it's loaded here. Then go to settings and set the MIDI in. The note we are using here is the E1. So, then we go to mixer view. And then let's see the instrument. And then we set the output to trigger one channel one. Okay. And then let us program some MIDI there. So E1 would be... There. Alright, so now we have a new, new block there. And for some reason I don't understand why they can't make like multiple nodes for the TCI, but... I think we can handle with this. So let's move to the bigger editor. And now we have the main hits there. And uh, as you can hear, they are at random. And if you read the readme file, it says that the hard hits are at uh, 100 to 127. So these are the hard hits. So we want to have those for the ones. And then we want to have the the pullouts for the 
two and four. And once again, we just need to be somewhere around there. And for the easier hits, we need to be below 50. So let's see how it how it sounds. Or we can try it the other way around. So yeah, that sounds kind of like it. Okay, if you are lazy as me, I also made the example of MIDI for you guys. So you just need to go wherever you put the file, test the MIDI, drag and drop it right there, and let's see what we have. Since this is a bit slower, let's listen how it sounds. And the best thing about this that it sounds human, so there are a few missed hits and something like that. And the even better part is that if you just duplicate this, because there are those human errors, you just, you know, duplicate it two to four times and route the MIDI to the correct one, and then just pan them around like you would with, say, guitars, when you quad track them. Now you have quad tracked. Tambourine. Sounds A. A. Okay, I hope you will find this sample library or TCI instrument useful. Remember that you are not allowed to sell it forward, but you can use it for any production that you do. And it would be cool if you could link some videos below where you have used this as a video response so i thank you for watching and if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do it now so thank you for watching and make good music Anyway, with the trigger instrument, if you didn't know, here's the art articulation mode. Here you can choose what you are getting. In the main mode, you are getting, like it says, says in the README, the hard hits, 100 to 127, are the hits, 50 to 99 are the rights, and 0 to, 19, uh, 0 to 49 are the left. So, if we see the example MIDI why is the velocity window so small so the pattern goes like this 